This is my beautiful bird sister. This is Laura Perez, one of the most amazing midwives in this town or anywhere that I know. And she came all the way from San Francisco. Yay! Stinky traffic. So we're just going to love each other for a while. So we just got started and I had said some lovely things about Tess. And then Jenna said some lovely things about Tess. And now it's your turn to say lovely things about Tess. Awesome. So I'm going to sit down. <laughs> Hi, I'm Laura. Um, I've been really blessed to be able to attend births with Tess as the, me as the primary care provider and Tess as Gula. And I am just thrilled that she's able to keep doing this work. Um, I was thinking about all the nice things I could say about her, and there's a lot. I think that Tess has incredible patience with the birth process, which is not necessarily too easy to be patient with. Mm -hmm. I think that um, you bring an amazing amount of humbleness to the process, which is, I think, an incredible skill to have as a birth worker to not jump ahead and think you know what's going on because you have some idea sometimes, maybe, but birth is what it is and it's always changing. Um, and you're warm. You know, I think people can easily rely on you to be that warm presence, to be the reassuring presence, to basically do what it is that, that doulas do, to have confidence in mother's abilities and um, that faith in the process. And um, I'm just thrilled that you get to keep doing this and keep growing as a doula, keep learning what you want to do. I hear she's an aspiring midwife that's very exciting to me too. Um, so congratulations. I'm, I'm just really happy for you, pleased for you, proud of you, um, and, you know, lean on me however you can, whatever way you can, as long as I'm crazy available. <laughs> so, yeah, that's what I want to say.
up, but that is what it is. Um, and one of the things that I want to really talk about and stress with regard to Tess's work is that Tess is a white woman who has stood in supreme allyship with women of color. She has done that exquisitely, beautifully well. And in the world that we live in, with so much discord and so much unhappiness and so much cruelty, I just want to point that out as a specific beautiful diamond of a gift on the earth. I have had the blessings of, of training quite a few women now over, what, 17, 18 years of doing this. Uh, very few white providers have gone on to do the work that Tess does, and that does amazingly effortlessly, actually. It is actually very challenging to find white providers who really can be that open vessel to allow healing for all women, including women of color, in, the, in the, the abuse that is heaped on black and brown women's body in this culture, Tess does not participate. And that's amazing, and I want her to be applauded for that. And that's another very specific reason why I'm so happy that she's going on to be a midwife and hopefully, you know, serve lots of all different kinds of beautiful colors of humanity. And I feel incredibly happy in my heart that, that brown mamas and black mamas who come to her are going to be treated with exquisite care and respect as they deserve, which unfortunately the system does not give. It's not a given at all. So it's another thing I wanted to honor and just point out. Let us have a bit of a blessing. So Miss Jenna. We're gonna bless your hands. Beautiful midwife lava. Did you want to join us? Do you want to stand over here, maybe? Let's all take a nice deep breath together. We will take this moment to invite into our space all of the energies of love and light that we believe in, be that another God, Father God, Goddess, whatever faith traditions, or all belief systems that are honoring what is good and what is good. All of the energies that inspire blissful creativity, be that of human beings, or art, or music, laughter, gorgeous colors. We ask them to be with us and celebrate this gorgeous young woman. Gorgeous on every level that a woman can be gorgeous, that a human being can be gorgeous. In the service that she gives, in the goodness of her heart, we ask that this water be infused with all of that beautiful blessing. And we ask a rebirth for her. As she supports birth, we ask for a rebirth for her and a confirmation and an affirmation of herself as a birth worker in this world. Let's keep this midwife's hands. Keep her heart open. Give her courage. Give her strength. May she only know love. May she walk in beauty. Congratulations. to the world <laughs> that this wonderful, wonderful human being is Dula Tess Clavy.
<laughs> we have the wild so rumpus again. <laughs> <laughs> so we have plenty of food and drink, and let's all celebrate together. Woohoo! Yay! Everyone must hug her. Except maybe she. <laughs> yeah, right. gentle. Yeah. Yeah. She's gonna do one of these. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, dear.